You know what? I just realized we haven't covered the earthquake what? in Japan. We're almost ah. we almost put that off as much as Obama. Oh snap! Political commentary. <laughs> we're done with Politi- games. Now we're moving on to people. <laughs> I just woke up my dog. He, he, that was awesome. I threw one of his balls thinking he was still a tennis balls. Not a, get your mind out of the gutter. Get my mind out of the gutter. So I threw one of his tennis balls thinking he was awake, but he was asleep. So I startled him, and now he's gone onto his bed. <laughs> he's looking at me like, I'm, I've had enough of your shit. But anyway, yeah, the earthquake in Japan that killed a lot of people. And was devastating, and it, they upgraded it from an 8.9 to a 9.0, which is a lot more than it sounds. Yes, because if if you don't realize, uh, the Richter scale works on powers of 10. Yes. So a 9.0 on the Richter scale is like a movement of, say, 10 to the ninth power of some units. Yeah. Which is. I know my numbers correctly. Nine zeros. That's... Nine billion? One billion, actually. One billion? Yeah, one billion. I'm one. Thinking. It's a one and nine zeros. Yeah, I'm thinking nine and then nine zeros for some reason. But yeah, that's a one billion. That's a lot regardless of what you're doing. Yep. And it, I believe... And then, and then, let me just get my calculator out and uh, take 10 to the 8.9th power. If I click the right thing, maybe it will help. Uh, close out of that, because I didn't want to open that. And perhaps put this into a scientific thing, that would help. 10 to the 8.9 power is uh, close to 800 million. So move from 800 million to 1 billion. Yeah, that's how much stronger it was than they thought. That's how strong it was at the epicenter. The epicenter was less than 15 miles down. And if you're not, for those of you who aren't geologists or super nerds, 15 miles down is a very shallow earthquake. So that means the energy didn't didn't, uh, disperse as much when it actually hit Japan. I believe, uh, what, what is it, like, a, it's either an 8.0 or a 10.0, the ground starts rolling like water, and then a 12.0 will, would rip the earth apart. Yeah, pretty much. So we're getting to the upper, uh, you know, parts. And then people, people uh, I, I read on a fail book, uh, post that someone trying to put logic that the tsunami happened first and that was very suspicious because you know people are stupid and don't pay attention in high school come on man if you have if you're gonna have an earthquake the tsunami will follow yeah. god damn it well the thing with the Japanese earth the earthquake that hit Japan is that it happened in a location where the tsunami hit first but that's because of the angle at which the tsunami had to go compared to what the actual earthquake had to go to actually do damage. That's what I got from it. I might be wrong. If if I'm wrong, post in the com- comments uh, how I'm wrong. And neither of us are geologists. Yeah. So. I only know I only know stuff like that because I'm a super nerd. That's really the only reason why I'm a co- uh, I. I, you know, entered school when I did. I technically should still be a high school senior, considering how close uh, my birthday is to the uh, start of the school year. Yeah, like not even a not even a half month. Nope. But uh, my mom was pressured into it because uh, I was just so bored at preschool. They. I'm one of those kids. I ended up being one of those kids where I didn't really have to try to get through school. So now I didn't build up any, uh, you know, discipline in in dealing with schoolwork. And so now I'm suffering for it in college. I actually never went to preschool or any Head Start thing. Yeah. Well, they had to because my pa- both my parents worked and preschool on a mili- on the military base. My dad was in the Air Force up until I was. 
five. Uh, that I believe that was either cheap or free. Either way, it's low quality. Eh, it wasn't too bad. Our school system is flawed. Of course. But anywho, back to the earthquake. Uh, yeah. I, I believe they're getting stuff back together finally, which is very good. But um, I'm going to have to... I, honestly, this isn't based on my political alignment, which I'm libertarian, so basically I believe that anyone who's not me is going to run the country straight into the <laughs> ground. <laughs> which uh, which uh, used to be called a uh, Republican who doesn't give a shit. Yeah. But uh, now it's a Republican who wants more drugs. Um, <laughs> you, you ever watch... You, you've, seen that mo you've seen the Chris Farley movie uh, Black Sheep, right? No. Oh. Really? No. Wow, it, it's a funny movie. Well, there's this... Well, okay, so uh, the, the whole plot is that he his brother is a senator. He's trying to get him reelected. But this lady senator chick is trying to get elected as well, and she's using underhanded tactics. So he goes to this concert place to, to try and get the younger vote, but uh, he ends up like smoking some marijuana with these... Uh, you know, anti-white black guys. It's a long story, and so he does this huge rousing speech, and uh, you know, everyone's cheering. He he he's just shouting out what his brother's gonna do, although they think he's his brother at the concert, but whatever. And so <laughs> that then he gets to the, does the last thing his brother does, and then he goes Kit and kill Whitey. And this is a fat white guy <laughs> shouting this. <laughs> and everyone's just dead silent. And that's what, uh, and that's pretty much how I feel whenever I hear a politician speak. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe you haven't seen that movie. That's what, that and uh, Tommy Boy are just brilliant. The, those are. I, I know, I know who Chris Farley is. Yeah. I, I've seen a couple of uh, SNL sketches. Fucking hilarious. Um,. Those two and Emperor's New Groove are my three favorite. Uh, I just had his name. The uh, Chris Farley. No, not Chris Farley. Uh, trying to remember now. Chris Farley died before Emperor's New Groove. Ah, uh, uh, that's true. That's true. Um. Oh God, what he he played alongside Chris Farley, and I can't remember his name. He's kind of he has blonde hair. I just had his name. Now I gotta look this up. I can't believe it. David Spade. That's it. Those are my three uh, movies with David you Spade could, in it. God you damn. You could have fucking said the guy from Just Shoot Me. Ah. Uh, you used to watch that? You watched that? I used to watch my that. Mom, uh, my mom did. Ah. Uh, that, that, that's one of the few sitcoms I could stand. Because <laughs> sitcom, sitcoms usually fall into sitcomitis where uh, they just they just focus, they make it so uh, certain characters just never succeed even when they... Even when logic dictates that they should, and then law of averages, man. Yeah, that's why my name is Earl was pretty good because uh, they had it set up so he could only succeed. Yeah. Um. Uh, the guy who made that also made after that got that got canceled. He made a new series called Raising Hope, and uh, they referenced Earl having succeeded in his list in Raising Hope, and I, I thought that was a great. Thing. Plus, he, he gets all the actors from uh, My Name is Earl back onto Raising Hope for... Uh, However, this is Fox programming, so don't expect it to last. I know, and it's a funny show, too. Got, uh, I gotta look up who made it, because I, I, I know his last name's Garcia, but I can't remember his, his first name. And it's not really a, <laughs> a, a unique name. Raising hope. <laughs> that was very monotone because I can't really sing. It you suck at that. Recurring cat. Oh, let's see. Greg Garcia, that's it. Greg Garcia is just a funny guy. 
He is younger than my dad. <laughs> well, consider, considering I'm 18, my dad's 42. Yeah, true. Which is kind of... He, uh, at, my, at my graduation, my parents were the youngest parents there. Uh, I, th- I think my mom might have been the youngest one there. She was... For years. Let me do the math. 38 at the time? Yeah. Yeah, your mom's younger than uh, my mom. Because that was... That was getting on... No, they might have been the same age. Because my mom, my mom just turned forty. Uh, my mom will be turning forty-one. Yeah. In two months. Uh, I'm so glad our moms don't watch this because they'd probably kill us for talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God we started with video games. I would put them off regardless. <laughs> I could have family watch this all the way through, call my mom up, say, hey, Jake's talking about your age on the internet. She wouldn't get past the video game part. (laughs) Oh, but however, I do have to split this up into parts. True. True. Oh, well. (laughs) She doesn't watch this anyway, so I'm safe. For now, for now, you'll you'll, you'll email it to her just just to drag you just to drag me down with you. Even even though I have no idea how I would be able to contact her, yeah. and and even if I did ask you, you would you would not <laughs> give me that. Information. Even I'm not you that would, dumb. You would not trust me with such information. Mm. You barely trust me with other things. I trust you more than I trust other people. Just fucking barely. Well, I certainly trust our viewers to tell them that I watched My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. (laughs) 20 bucks. 20 bucks, says one of the comments, is going to be one of our viewers saying, Oh, My Little Pony is for girls. Blah, blah, blah. And without actually, with either having seen it and liking it and trying to scapegoat away from him or just not seeing it and being, you know, kind of a jerk. Because it is a, it is a well-written, self-referential, funny show. Self-referential. It does refer, it, it does have a lot of self-reference comedy. Is thing, yeah. Bob, whatever. Stuff. Buffy speak. Damn you, TV tropes. There, that's the obligatory damn you, TV tropes. <laughs> it's no it's no better than your really really, <laughs> really? moment really <laughs> we're really gonna bring this up really <laughs> oh yeah they're gonna they, they've been making another hangover movie the hangover part two debut trailer i didn't i never even saw the first one so Do we have anything left to talk about? 